The frontier is an amalgam of visions, none of them more enduring than those of the Native Americans. For many of the Indians, an understanding of the land and a sense of self are connected. It was taught to us that a, a man is divided into four equal parts. Those parts being the mental, the emotional, the physical, and the spiritual aspects. And that can be symbolized by the medicine wheel. And if we uh, neglect any one of those parts, then we get out of balance. And in order to get back in balance, we have to find what area that we're not uh, uh, identifying with, that we're not uh, growing in. We not only have to identify ourselves in those four areas our ancestors taught us, but we also, it's also our right and our responsibility to grow in those four areas. So if we get uh, stagnant in any of those areas, we get out of balance. And that uh, relates to being a happy individual, I guess, something that all people are striving for. When I think of frontier, I don't think of uh, uh, miners or cowboys or railroads or the rush, uh, gold rushes or anything like that. When I when I think of the frontier, I think of uh, uh, my ancestors chasing buffalo, and hunting and doing the jobs and uh, living in the, in the culture and the society that they lived in at that time. There were 60 million buffalo here and 10 million people uh, during the time that I consider the frontier. And what that says to me is that th this land and the people that were on it were in total balance. I think uh, in comparison, we're a lot further out of balance than those particular people were at that time. So I think we could learn a very valuable ecological uh, lesson from those people and how they related to and reacted to the land. <laughs>